Hey everyone, it's Joe Waxman, and I'm back with another video. Today, I want to talk about Will Smith. So, I'm sure you're all um, as intrigued as I was, or am, or, you know, at least entertained about the whole Will Smith fiasco of him slapping Chris Rock. And then, what's interesting is I just saw another um, video of him apologizing for all that. And what's really interesting is that like, uh, I'm looking at his astrology, I know that he's a uh, Libra sun. And that, so that's why I, I made this video because Libra sun is debilitated and what's going on there? Why is, why is he behaving this way? So let's just get right into it and share my screen. Show off my new software that I got, which is pretty cool. Um, I like it, Astro Gold. Um, I was putting it off buying it for so long, but finally did it. And um, so, yeah. All right. So, he's a Libra sun. And, and you can see it's got like this whole stellium in Virgo and Libra, and then a little bit in Scorpio and Aries, Gemini ascendant. Um, so just a little bit of background when Will Smith is from Philadelphia, as am I. And, um, when I was a kid, actually, I would listen to the radio a lot. And even before Will Smith was famous, um, he would play, they would play him on the radio in Philadelphia, him and Jazzy Jeff. I don't remember what songs, but I do remember hearing him. And, um, you know, it was kind of like, I don't know, like, it's just the radio announcer would be like, oh, Philadelphia's own Fresh Prince and DJ Jazzy Jeff. And it was kind of cool, you know, like if somebody's from your hometown, you, you pay a little more attention. So I remember Will Smith way back when, when he was a nobody or just like starting out to to, to have some little bit of local notoriety on, you know, Phil, local Philadelphia radio station. And he was a rapper. And uh, then he uh, gained success. Then he moved into acting, and he kind of did both for a while. I think rapping and acting, and you know he became a, a hit on the TV show Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which is a pretty cool show. I like it. Um, and then the rest, you know, the rest, all the the movies he's in, he was in, and the big, you know, getting jiggy with it, and summertime, and all that. Um, you know, he's a big name, obviously. But like, okay, well, Sun and Libra is debilitated, and which is interesting. It's like, okay, you might think if you're if you're into astrology that, uh, if 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 you're if you have a lot of planets and good dignity, then you're gonna do well. You're gonna be famous. But sometimes you see famous people with a bunch of planets not in good dignity, right? And what's going on there? Why is that? You know, what's that all about? Well, I don't know. Let's look at it. Um. First of all, Sun and Libra. Sun and Libra can go one of two ways. Uh, one way is that they're very passive. They're yes, yes men and yes women. Um, they're just very people pleasing and wanting to be like totally diplomatic because Venus, you know, uh, Libra, Libra is very social and wanting to keep the peace. And they want to, um, you know, they want harmony and, and um, and all that. It's a bit like Sun conjunct Venus, which I have. You know, it's just very nice, very pleasant, very, very social, very balanced and peaceful and harmonious. Um, and just wants to please people. Uh, the other way it can go is, is uh, you know, they get angry and nasty and, you know, go up and slap you for, you know, insulting their, their wives or whatever, like, like uh, Will Smith did. And there are other there there are many other examples of this, uh, which I'll get to another time. I mean, just two offhand that I can think of are Lenny Bruce and Eminem. Uh, Lenny Bruce, much older comedian, who if you know him, then you know what I'm talking about. And Eminem, just notoriously bad attitude. Like you always see him on films as cameo with, you know, he does cameo appearances, and he's always just like yelling at people, cursing, being very crude, and it's like. That's Sun and Libra? Well, yeah, a lot of times, especially for the men more than the women, I think. 
you know, I don't want to create a, you know, dogmatic stereotype, but it does seem like the, the men uh, embrace the negative side of sudden Libra more easily than the women, which is that, that nastiness. And that's the debility coming out. That is literally what Sun in uh, de debilitated in Libra has has it. It sort of plays like debilitated planets play a bad guy role really well. Like they're either weak and passive or or strong and forceful, but in a bad in a negative way. They express themselves in a negative way. Um, so we you see that a lot. There's either like this disassociation or weakness. Like I've seen, you know, like you know, um, Mars in, in Libra uh, can be just so passive sometimes, but potentially, potentially it could be very aggressive, right, as well, or nasty. Um, and same thing with Sun in Libra. Um, and it can go back and forth between those two polar opposites, you know, like, like Will Smith can be this very, very, social people pleasing very nice very balanced and diplomatic and harmonious and then the other side is that that you know just uncontrolled anger nastiness you know slapping people yelling at them cursing at them right but if you look at his rap music he's not a gangster rapper he's he doesn't even curse in his rap music. he's like you know pg rap music you know it's like g-rated rap music you know, that's the Libra, again, Libra influence. That's the passive side of, of Sun and Libra. Um, he does have South Node conjunct Sun, and the nodes, either South Node or North Node, can can uh, indicate fame with, when it's with the Sun, because Sun is, you know, the ruler of Leo, and Sun is the, the um, indicator, the planet of our, our ego and our personality, and it's the star, it's the king. So naturally, fame is associated with the sun. So whether it's south node or north node, that can indicate fame. And it's in the fifth house, and it's trying the ascendant. You know, fifth house generally is trying the ascendant, but especially if you're using whole sign houses. But if the signs, if you're using quadrant, and it's it's um, you know messed up, if it's all really skewed, then it's not necessarily trying, but it's trying it in the fifth house both. So that's quite good. Um, fifth house is the house of creativity, um, the house of, um, you know, it's Leo's original house. So like for anything like stage performance, acting, uh, music, arts, uh, games, uh, obviously children, uh, things like that. Basic education, confidence, self-awareness. It's all very good for that. And there's this whole stellium here, right? Sun, South Node. Um, Mercury and Venus. Venus obviously rules Libra. Mercury is the ascendant lord. So his ascendant lord is going into the fifth house, being strengthened by Venus in Libra, Venus in domicile. Now, Venus is in the 29th degree. Uh, so that could indicate some instability. Um, you know, with progressions, we might even see a fall from grace because Venus is strong in Libra, but um, it's actually loses a lot of dignity in Scorpio, right? Because it's opposite its rulership in um, Taurus. So uh, and we have, we, we, we literally just saw a moment where Will Smith fell from grace, um, especially because his Libra son is not going to stick to that that aggressiveness. Well, at least he's not. I mean, I'm not saying other Libra sons won't, but you know, he apologized and he admit that he did wrong, which I think is redeeming. But at the same time, he loses face. You know, he's not going to maintain this nasty bad guy character for long. Yeah, he might be able to hold that up for a little while, but not for long. Um, so there is a fall from grace. And um you know, Venus is ruling, it's not on the fifth house cusp by quadrant, but it is one, two, three, four, five. It is the fifth whole sign house. Um, so it is by that, the ruler of the fifth house. So his fame could take a dip into sixth house, you know, territory conflict and enemies and competition and things like that. 
um, which is interesting, right? Because then Mercury is losing that influence, that positive influence of a um, very dignified uh, Venus. And anything on the 29th degree is going to be unstable, right? Anything on the zero degree is going to be like, just kind of like without boundaries, exploding into the new sign. Um, he's got more than, he, Uranus here is 29 degrees too, about to move into Libra from Virgo. So that's, uh, there's some instability, certainly in his chart with the um, debilitated sun and then moon, uh, also debilitated, opposite is exaltation in, in Taurus, in the sixth house, conjunct Neptune. Uh, now, does the moon have any dignity here? Well, let's see. Um, it's not connected to Mars, but it is sextiling um, the co-ruler of Scorpio. Um Pluto and Virgo and its very good friend Jupiter, um, both in Virgo conjunct each other. Uh, that's quite good for Moon. But otherwise, um, this is not a very good position for Moon, not, neither in the sixth house or in Scorpio. So there's a lot of, um, we could say like emotional instability with, with um, Will Smith. He doesn't show very easily, but he's actually quite troubled inside, I think. Like he's got a lot of, you know, you know, he could have anger issues, which we've seen, um, just emotional instability, uh, insecurity, and just general um feeling very competitive with the moon and Scorpio in the sixth house, like ready to fight people very easily. And also moon and Neptune Conjunct, moon conjunct Neptune is, well, it's very imaginative, but it's also, this could be very, this could be uh, both mental imbalance and depends how he handles it. Like if he turns to drugs or alcohol, that's mental illness, I, I, I would assume. But if otherwise, this could be very intuitive, right? Moon and Neptune together in Scorpio, like really even potentially some psychic ability that, um, so I think it could go either way. And I, I, he doesn't seem like the type who is into drugs and alcohol. And maybe he learned that the hard way that he could just not handle his drugs and alcohol. Because I really think he would go downhill quick if he, if he turned to drugs and alcohol with this moon and Neptune combination and Scorpio in the sixth house. Very difficult for the, um, for the moon. Um, see by degree it's yeah i mean it's there's a in conjunct to saturn um that's not good that's not good for the moon either and saturn's not in good dignity either um saturn let's see um, Saturn is being fed by all these planets in Libra. I think that helps Saturn. Because it's just bringing in a lot of um, Libra and energy, which, which, which Saturn does like. There's nothing in Capricorn or, or Aquarius except the MC. Um, Saturn rules the MC, so Saturn's ruling his career. And it's, too, I mean, it's, it's, it's um, again, uh, that is debilitated Saturn. He's got a lot of planets that are not in good dignity. He does have his north node in Aries. Um, so this is going to expand uh, 11th house um, signification a lot, north node in Aries. And the Saturn hasn't stopped him. I mean, it is retrograde. And retrograde Saturn does behave differently than direct Saturn. Um, so it's retrograde and debilitated. I think, I, I think in a Vedic... Vedic uh, astrology, they would say that acts like exalt if it's debilitated and retrograde, it acts like it's exalted. So I I think that's probably why he's had it's not withholding, it's not 
you know, holding back his career. It's like in such bad dignity that it's uh, reverting to its opposite, the debilitated and retrograde, because uh, that's it's ruling his career. Um, but I don't know if that's a hundred percent true that it acts like it's exalted, but it's not holding him back. It's obviously not. So, you know, if if this were not retrograde and it wasn't in good dignity, I would say okay good successful career that takes a long time to to achieve results and money but it's not the case right you know like somebody can have somebody can produce uh in their career produce a body of work that they don't receive recognition for until later in life or even after they're dead and van gogh is one example of that and he did have saturn in the 11th house that uh, obviously was not in good dignity because it withheld the success now, if he had lived long enough, he might have seen his success, but he didn't live long enough. So his success came after his death. But Will Smith did not have that problem. And I think that's the retrograde. And all these planets in Libra. Um, so he's got a bunch of planets in, in Virgo. Jupiter also is in detriment in Virgo because uh, it's opposite its rulership in uh, Pisces. Now it's ruling the seventh house too, so relationships are not so hot for Will Smith either. Difficult, because the Lord of Relationships, Jupiter, is in detriment. And conjunct Pluto, so that's very intense, and Uranus a little wider. But um, but Virgo, Virgo, ruled by Mercury. Mercury is okay because of this Venus. But again, that fall from grace is always possible. And Jupiter, again, uh, sextile moon, even though moon is not in good dignity, still has a sextile for moon, which it likes because moon is its the planet of Jupiter's exaltation in Cancer. So that is good. But um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, so Mars is not, Mars is not bad in, in um, Virgo. It's quite strong because it likes the competition, the competitiveness of Virgo, the, the, the hard work. Uh, it's in the fourth house, which is not so good for Mars. It's very aggressive at home, uh, very dominating. Oh, I forgot one thing. Jupiter, it does make an aspect on Pisces, the 10th house. There's always the opposite aspect. So when plants are not in good dignity, you can always look at the opposite house and um, check that out to see if they are... Uh, aspecting in a good way their opposite house, but usually they are. Um, so that's going to be good for career because that is 10th house because um, Jupiter rules Pisces. And then Saturn is aspecting Libra here. So again, more fifth house uh, stuff. Venus is also ruling the 12th house, which is great for any sort of creativity, you know, film, music, uh, that sort of thing. And just an overall thing about that, like, you know, why, why people are famous and like why some people aren't. I mean, some of that's just uh, karmic destiny that we probably can't see in the chart or it's difficult to see in the chart. But, um, you know, a lot of famous people, they have like a, a strong theme in their chart, like a conglomeration of planets around, you know, a certain point where the energy is flowing into, you know, a certain area. Or, um, you know, like a, a Grand Air Trine or Grand Water Trine, things like that. There will be a theme, a common theme that you can really see clearly playing out. And the people that um, go through life and it's just sort of their life, it just never really takes any strong shape. You can also see that in the chart. It's just kind of all over the place, right? It's just there's no real strong theme that you can pull out from it. Well, Will Smith obviously has a very strong theme around fifth house. You know, even the fourth house stuff, like if you think of a flow, energy flow, it's flowing into the fifth house. Obviously, there's some stuff outside here, the sixth house, you know, some emotional turbulence, um, issues with, with enemies and competition. Um, and then, the you know, this 11th house, he's quite popular and successful, so career success. Obviously, this, like I said, the North Node and then the Saturn 
uh, are doing all right. Um, yeah, oppositions, and so what? Mercury's opposite Saturn, four five degrees. Uh, Saturn is opposite. Venus again, but the, these are in Libra. So, you know, it's obviously not hurting it that much, but again, I think there, there probably are, uh, I mean, there are issues because like, I know that he got in trouble with taxes. So Saturn is ruling the eighth house and, um, you know, the IRS came after him. Um, you know, Moon's ruling the second house. So I don't know about his finances, but I would guess that there are some issues there. Obviously not in making money and career success, but in keeping things. He probably loses stuff easily, loses his assets. Again, I don't know, but um, it could be something, something there around that. Uh, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it for Will Smith. Can't think of anything else to really point out. Um, all right, guys. So, yeah. In other words, like I, I just also wanted to say, like, don't don't be too discouraged if you have planets that are not in good dignity. They might cause you trouble, but you can still be successful anyway. Well, Samantha is obviously a perfect example of that. Um, you know, and the the whole plan, the whole point of the chart is not that it's like written in stone. It, well, there is a certain very firm element about you know the chart, but it, it it's also a work in progress, right? And we're setting up our karma for the next our next incarnation. It's almost like our starting karma for this life, for this incarnation. But we can work with it. It's it's all like it's all it's all a work in progress, is my point. And so just because you have some issues with your chart doesn't mean you can't get better, doesn't mean you can't grow, doesn't mean you can't improve things and um, set up a better situation for next time. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh you enjoyed it. And if you want to book a reading, go to my website, macroastrology.com, or just email me at macrogoldmachine at yahoo.com. All right, thanks. See you next time. Bye.